um, right now my colleagues are working in the municipality office while I'm here demonstrating with the people um, so that the mayor's office and those responsible find an immediate solution um, to this situation that has been going on for exactly a year. In just um, one hour I'll be making a speech on what have we done for one year. Um, for one year we've been preparing for exactly this. Um, and, and we know that we haven't. That there has been absolutely no sustainable solution for the people um, of uh, Kostai Street who've been moved to Paterit. Um, we are, as I said, working with the authorities in the meantime so that they can use the resources of the European social funds and others to make sure that they can find some sort of solution. But a after one year, I must say that it's a little difficult to be optimistic. On the other hand, um, things take a while as well, and, and I'm. I'm convinced that the mayor's office, despite the um, recent scandals we've had, um, I'm convinced, I'm told just a few hours ago, that the mayor's office is committed to find some sort of solution together with the United Nations. So did they, did they advance some kind of solution? Or? Are there any projects for the future? There, there's a project to put together a project. Um, I'm at least in that project. I cannot, of course, talk on behalf of the mayor's office. Um, I have no idea what exactly their plans are. On behalf of my organization, we benefit. Um, we're very thankful to the Open Society Institute, which has financed a partnership between the mayor's office and United Nations Development Program and the Northwest Regional Development Agency, which I hope will be signed tomorrow. The idea is that we put together all our expertise, work together with the communities and identify quick fundable projects that the European um, structural funds could be brought into um, Cluj. But this is not an overnight solution. Uh, putting together a project, one of these projects even takes a few months. Um, but at least we know that we're moving ahead with the authorities on this. But I cannot speak on behalf of the authorities in their preparation. Have you met similar cases in Europe? or? Um, indeed, there are similar, unfortunately, there are similar cases in Europe. Um, in, in a few hours, we'll have our colleagues from Amnesty International who've done very serious analysis of this from the um, forced evictions, forced migration perspective. Indeed, there are issues right across the board in, in Hungary. There are issues in Bulgaria. Um, similar cases are indeed happening. It only underlines the similarity of the discrimination, the similarity of the lack of political will to solve the problem of housing, address the problem of housing for the Roma.